Hello there. I'm going to do a video on um, barbecue and hamburgers that are frozen right from the store. These are the best ones I've ever had and I've tried all kinds of them. President's Choice, I'm not sure if you guys have that in the States or not. It's a Superstore Prime Rib Burger. I've tried probably 15 different types of burgers in the stores and usually I make my own as just regular hamburger meat, but when you have people coming over and you want to have a, a fast, easy burger, try these out and you'll be impressed. Now, I'm going to go through the whole thing with you now. I should mention that I don't work for a superstore or the, the store that makes these burgers, but I just want to pass it on to you. These burgers are packaged really well. They're sealed and um, individually frozen and separated by a piece of paper, and there are um, obviously eight of them, and they're a good size. And my wife and I like to have about two burgers each for supper. And I usually put six on because they make a good snack the next day if you're going to work. You want something to take to lunch. They're great. And they come, like I said, frozen in the package. And I put them right on the barbecue, frozen solid. Okay, and I've got a, a really mega-sized bur um, barbecue here. And um, if I was only going to have a couple of steaks, I'd throw them on the small side. And uh, it's perfect size for a couple of steaks. But I'm having six burgers, so I'm going to put them on the... Uh, the full grill and uh, get them all nice and uh, well done as in Canada we like our burgers well done and I know you guys in the States you like to have them medium rare and rare and medium well and you end up with a lot of problems sometimes with that okay I just finished cleaning the grill off and uh, I should mention it's uh, zero degrees right now uh, Celsius which for you Americans will be 32 and it's quite chilly out here on the deck and as you can see, these burgers are ice frozen solid, right on the grill. Right out of the box, prime rib burgers. And it'll take about 10 minutes so far to get them thawed out. And they are lightly grilled on one side, and I'll come back on the side, just right the other side. Okay, they've been on about 10 minutes. I'm going to flip them over now. See how they the black on that guy. See that? into a, a less hot pot and put something off down there. A little, a little too much smoke on that guy. Uh, okay, the rest of them look pretty good. Okay, I'll uh, get them again in a few minutes. See what's going on. Okay, it's starting to get dark out here. I'm going to see how they look in this the, the next flip. Yeah. Uh, looking good. Poor fellow's getting all the burn. He's up here. Let him live. And we've got that over there. It's a little soft. <clears throat> That's too good. Leave him on another few minutes. Okay, it's starting to get pretty dark over here. I'm going to um, squeeze a bit of grease out of these guys. And as you can see, they're still maintaining their size. They're not creeping much like that. A regular burger would be half that size. These are uh, really good burgers. I think the next shot I'm going to have to have is going to be when they're done because it's almost too dark by the end of the season. Of course, i got to put a couple of layers of barbecue sauce on the next and I'll uh, show you the finished product in a few minutes. <clears throat> now, I like to put the buns on the top rack. I don't separate them, them together. I like to have them uh, crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Some people like them baked on both sides. Eh, I don't know. What do you like? I've got the first layer of barbecue sauce on these now. And I'll uh, be back in a minute with the other, uh, the other layer. I just remember to have a little outdoor light here. A little LED operated one. And I uh, just uh, took the buns off. The two, they're all crispy on the outside. And um, that's a first layer of sauce all around. Be back in a minute. As you can see, the burgers are all together now. Put a bit of cheese on top of each one and melted that on the barbecue. And um, we like to serve this with nachos and salsa and garnish it with some spicy barbecue sauce, Frank's hot sauce, relish, my wife likes red onions, mustard and ketchup, and a bag of nachos. A meal fit for a king.